We've come through the rain, the mud, the cold, because we want to do something good. There's a Lao phrase that can be translated as, where there are no maras, there are no perfections develop. In other words, if you want to develop good qualities in the mind, you have to face obstacles. This is true with trying to develop goodness outside and trying to develop goodness inside. Because the mind is at civil war. Parts of it want to do good, parts of it don't. And when the parts that want to do good begin to show some power, then the parts that don't want to do good, they begin to show them their, their teeth and their fangs. But we can't let ourselves be dissuaded by that. Because what are their teeth and fangs? Just a little bit of unpleasantness, a little bit of pain. Sometimes it's just a little tiny bit and people can get discouraged. Which is one of the reasons why it's good to remember that the perfection of patience or perfection of endurance really is a perfection. It's an important part of the practice. You learn how to have patience with unkind words and patience with painful feelings. And what you don't have patience with is your own defilements. As the Buddha said, as soon as something unskillful appears in the mind, you've got to get rid of it quickly. The comparison he gives is of a man with his head on fire. He does everything he can to get that fire out right away. So in the same way, you're sitting, you're meditating, and something comes up that pulls you away from the meditation, you've got to drop it as quickly as you realize that it's there, and not get discouraged. It may keep coming back, coming back, coming back. But just because it's insistent doesn't mean you have to give in. You have to learn how to be insistent, too, because the, the pains of doing good are nothing compared to the pains that come from not doing good. You've got to keep that in mind may be easy to begin with, but the long-term results of not doing good are not pleasant. So let's look for the long-term. As the Buddha said, that's a sign of wisdom. You realize that there is such a thing as long-term happiness and such a thing as long-term pain. And see so what the long-term happiness, not just the short-term. And you're able to talk yourself out of doing things that you don't like doing. You talk yourself out of doing things that you like doing that are going to give long-term pain. And you talk yourself into doing things that you may not like to do, but they give long-term pleasure, long-term happiness as a result. That's a sign of wisdom. So as you overcome obstacles, you're developing your wisdom in addition to your patience. In fact, all kinds of good qualities get developed this way. So don't let yourself get discouraged by setbacks. Don't let yourself get discouraged by obstacles. Everybody has to encounter them in one way or another. Even the Buddha had to encounter the obstacles. It was because he overcame them that he became the Buddha that we bow down to. Now, you may not be interested in having people bow down to you, but you, you want to learn how to respect yourself, and you do that by overcoming the obstacles in the mind. And that's how our perfections grow.